Welcome, welcome family, welcome back. It's uh, such a privilege to be able to share the Word of God. Thank you so much for showing up. In the previous video, I spoke about showing up. Showing up in your own life, hallelujah. Thank you so much for showing up and supporting this ministry. God shows up all the time and we will have to be showing up, hallelujah. So thank you so much for being here and to all of you new members, welcome. I hope you have taken time to subscribe because I don't want you to miss out on what God is doing in this ministry, in this season in your life. So you are in this place, not by chance. God places us in places at the right time. So you never know what God has for you in this season right here in this place. Let there be so much speed moving you forward to the destination you desire. Hallelujah. This is my prayer. May the Lord shine his glory over your lives. May you never lack any good thing in this life in the name of Jesus Christ. So let's get started. There's a sound of rain coming your way. There's a sound of financial rain, not just rain, financial rain, the peace abundant into your life. And I want you to believe Mark 11 verse 23 to 24, it talks about believing, asking and believing and then you receive. This is the time, this is the season that God is doing something special for his children. I don't know why I'm talking about financial breakthroughs in this season, in this month, but I feel the push. I feel the Holy Spirit wants me to talk about this because poverty is not noble. Poverty is not a good thing at all. And I know that there are some family members here who are looking for jobs, this is the time. The anointing power of the Spirit of God will break any spirit of unemployment, any spirit that is holding you back, any spirit that is holding you to one position in life, whether it's in your business, in your career, in the work of your hands, may you move forward with speed in the order of Elijah, the same God that strengthened Elijah, that he was able to overtake. May you overtake in the mighty name of Jesus. May you receive the same in the mighty name of Jesus, because you save the same God. Hallelujah. The same yesterday, today, and forevermore. There's a sound of rain, of abundance. There's a sound of financial breakthroughs coming your way. Wealth of the nations coming your way. That's why in the previous video, I spoke about getting inspired. Do not just live life just like that. Go to the next level. If you are there and life is good, move to the next level. There's more for you. If you don't need it, give it to someone else. God wants you to impact lives. The world is looking for you, is waiting for you. You have a place that God has given you. You are an original. Hallelujah. I spoke about that. And know that you are necessary in this world. There is financial rain that God is releasing for his children in this time and you should be ready because you won't be able to explain it. You won't be able to say, how did I do it? It's God's hand upon your life and you have to just position, get creative. You are a creative child of God. Do not just sit there and, and let your destiny sit with you. Rise, this is the time. God is also releasing peace abundant abundant peace. But the Bible says peace abundant. And I was trying to argue with that. I'm like, it's not placed properly, but it's abundant peace, peace abundant in your life. Why? Because you may have money, plenty, and every good thing is in your hand, but you lack peace. How can you enjoy if you don't have peace? You'll be crying, you'll be worried. So God says, I'll pour out my peace as well upon your life. So the peace of God is not like the world gives. This kind of peace is where there are challenges, but you are able to sleep. Eh? There are other things falling apart, but you are able to sleep. You are able to say, my God is good and not get discouraged. So Isaiah chapter 66, verse 12, I will rain down prosperity on Jerusalem, peace abundant on Zion, and flood her with wealth from all over the world. Like a thundering river, the riches will come down. 
like a toddler you will be held carried nourished and comforted god is saying he will rain down prosperity into your life and let it be financial prosperity let it be an all-round prosperity from heaven god opens up heaven over your life and you receive more than enough whatever you have been asking there is rain coming upon that business there's rain from heaven that will rain down your life that it will flow to every area of your life because the rain when it comes it goes everywhere and when god talks about rain it is rain it will pour in first kings chapter 18 verse 41 elijah heard the sound of rain it says then elijah said to ahab go get something to eat and drink for i hear a mighty rainstorm coming in the previous video i spoke about the financial breakthrough and in this video i'm talking about god raining down prosperity over your life elijah was positioned well and he could hear what others did not get he heard the mighty rainstorm coming how did that happen his antenna, his spiritual antenna was always alert. So he could hear this mighty rain coming. People around, even Ahab, didn't know, was just told, go and eat and drink something because this rain might stop you. Let your heart be free to receive from the Lord. Position yourself well to receive the rain. Hallelujah. Have your bucket ready. Have your hands ready to receive and how are you going to receive something that everyone else doesn't see? You are able to hear the sound of that mighty rain. You are able to stand and say, Oh Lord, I hear the mighty rain coming of financial prosperity into my hands, into my life, into my business career, into my family. I hear it. Only you. Because the Spirit of God will tell you when things are happening. You'll be dancing and someone will be like, are you serious that you're jumping up and down right now? And you're like, yes, I hear the sound of financial prosperity. I hear the sound of healing. I hear the sound of breakthroughs in my life. I hear it. My cousin was sharing with me and she said, I just woke up this morning. That was the second day of our prayer and fasting. And she was like, I woke up today and I'm feeling so good. I felt so good. I was just feeling this peace. And this joy over my life, you are able to hear what others are not able to hear. Hallelujah. God will give you the ears that Elijah had, that he was able to hear the sound of a, a mighty rainstorm coming. In this season, God will make sure that you have resources for that purpose that he has given you. God is funding your side business. God is funding that ministry. God is placing you in a position where you'll be able to help others. Not only your needs, but your needs will be met and there'll be more than enough. There's a mighty rainfall coming into your life a financial breakthrough that you won't be able to explain it to overflow you'll be overwhelmed and people will be asking what is happening i heard it coming god has brought it into my life and glory goes to him alone and this financial rain that is coming into your life i want to tell you something right now it's not only for small small things look at elijah elijah was Ahab's destiny helper. God is providing for you so that you become a destiny helper for somebody else. Ahab was helped by Elijah. It was like having a mentor. And when Elijah heard that rain, the sound of rain coming, he told Ahab, go and eat, go and do this, go and do this at this, this is the right time, do this and go there. And God strengthened Elijah to overtake Ahab straight to Jezreel. Do you know who was in Jezreel? Jezebel. Elijah had to ask God for strength to overtake because if he didn't go first there, remember the fire that came on that altar where those false prophets were expecting that Elijah's God was going to disappoint him? That was good news. 
Ahab was going to overtake and go and say it in his own way. God has positioned you as an original. You are the one to take charge. You are the one to overtake. You are the one to go first. You are the one to land there first. You are the one to tell the story of the goodness of the Lord. You are the one to stand and say, come and see what the Lord has done. Elijah had to reach their first to go and make sure that Ahab didn't say it the way he just decided. There's a reason and there's a purpose in your life. And another thing was that Elijah was in Ahab's life as a destiny helper. Jezebel was in Jezreel and Ahab was protected by Elijah. That Jezebel eh, was going to be another story. So there are resources that are given to you to help others, to preach the gospel so that other people can be saved, so that those who are in need can know the goodness of the Lord, so that they can smile and you can be that answer to that prayer. Someone is praying right now and you are going to answer that prayer. Do you know that God sends people to go and respond to a need? Someone is praying and fasting and you just hear, oh, uh, I just felt to, to bless you with this. It's exactly what you were praying for. This is how God answers prayer. So make sure that in this season, as God is preparing to pour his rain over you, financial rain, let no storm anywhere stop you. Let your heart remain in God so that when that rain comes, you will be able to stay the same person. You will be able to worship God with it. You will be able to take that, to see it as a resource that God has given you as a tool to preach the gospel, as the tool to reach the lives of others, as the tool for you to live the best life here on earth and fulfill that purpose. So let your heart remain in God. This is what I wanted to encourage you with. I hope you have picked one or two things and you are moving forward. Thank you so much for watching this video. Come and share your testimonies, share your stories, continue watching other videos that I recommend at the end of this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, take time to do so because you are being part of spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.